What's going on, guys? How you guys been? Rocking some G3 gear today. If you guys ain't been down in the shop in a little bit, come check out our new inventory. We got a bunch of new stuff in that we can't post on Facebook because they like to take it, our posts down. You know, First Amendment rights and all. So, unless you've been living under a rock for the last two months, probably, uh, you've seen what's going on down in Texas. So, things are getting a little bit crazy right now. Uh, Texas border is getting flooded with people, so the governor started taking matters into his own hands, and the government's not liking that. So, yeah, it's, it's been kind of a back and forth down there. Uh, also, with the amount of people we have flooding into the United States, it's pretty concerning. Uh, you know, you, we, we don't know who's coming across. And then on top of that, election season is at the end of this year. So I just wanted to come on here and talk about some preparations for uh, 2024 into 2025. There's just some things I was thinking of the other day. I had my brain brewing, and uh, I was thinking, you know, you don't have to go hog wild and go out and spend your entire paycheck, uh, but just be mindful of certain things. Uh, we all remember what happened with the pandemic. Uh, you know, a ton of stuff got sold out. Just be mindful of it, you know. If you have the extra money, grab a couple extra things and just start slowly making a, a stockpile of certain things. Water, canned goods. Uh, if you have children, young children, uh, you don't want to you know, just kind of be mindful. Grab a little extra. So, I had something I was thinking of the other day getting prepped for 2024 into 2025 because with no matter which way Texas goes and no matter which way the election goes this country is going to get turned upside down I have a feeling and uh, I think we're going to be living almost like pandemic time you know, things are going to be a little bit touchy uh, everybody's kind of going to be a little bit on edge so if you if you do own firearms, suggest, you know, grabbing a little bit of extra ammo just to keep on hand. I'm not saying that you're gonna need it for any reason, but it's better to have it than to not have it, you know. Uh, same with, you know, foods and water, camping gear, things of the sort, typical prepper stuff. Uh, you know, I'm not saying that the whole country is going to get shut down, but uh, things are going to probably get a little bit weird for a little bit. I feel like, I do feel like we're going to go back to pandemic times where shelves are going to get cleared out. Uh, people are going to, I think there's going to be a lot of uh, unruly customers, <laughs> so to speak. So, it's been on, it's been 32 uh, the best thing I can tell you is kind of hang on and do the best that you can, and don't don't be afraid to ask for help if you need it, you know. Because we, I had to have a real good feeling that we're about to fall on some hard times. So, it's been on spin thirty two. I'll catch you in the next one.